All right, Kim, thank you. We're going to bring in the experts and get some analysis on this as gas prices hit that all-time high in tonight's uh, 7 Up Front segment. We are joined by Patrick DeHaan, Senior Petroleum Analyst with Gas Buddy. Patrick, we just hit that new national record, and top of everyone's mind is how much longer will these prices continue to rise? Well, maybe some light at the end of the tunnel. I think the biggest of the increases is now behind us temporarily. Now things could change, but there aren't going to be as big of increases this week as we saw last week. Having said that, prices could continue to drift higher at some of those stations that you saw that were lower priced. Their cost continues to be higher. So look for some small continued increases. But overall, uh, this is just a, a start of what's to come for most of the summer. And there's been some talk amongst lawmakers about banning imports of Russian oil to punish Russia for the war in Ukraine. What would that mean for our gas prices? It probably wouldn't do a whole lot uh, in terms of U.S. gas prices. Uh, the U.S. imports and has imported oil and oil products from Russia. The real point of contention that could cause oil prices to rise more dramatically is if the EU, the European Union, sanctions Russia's energy they receive over four and a half million barrels a day from Russia, and that could cause our prices to go up dramatically if they do sanction Russia. Well, we've heard a lot of numbers thrown around, like five to six dollars a gallon by spring. What do you think of that? Is it possible? Uh, I think it's it, it's possible, but it's improbable. So, you know, worst case scenario, maybe you could get to five dollars in Metro Detroit. I don't foresee that. It's not in the pipeline yet. That could change down the road if there's more escalations. Uh, but just a sign of, of really nothing's impossible. But again, at this point, $5 improbable this spring. And is this renewing the call to speed up access to electric vehicles and chargers and get this going in our society? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's been a lot of talk. And of course, with higher gas prices, more Americans are gonna look at that potential to make a move towards EVs. Uh, the president has already pushed the nation that way. I think for now though, we're going to be stuck with elevated prices until the situation is over. While we transition to EVs, we should also be increasing the US's energy security. And what do you think about that request for a gas tax holiday? I mean, is that even possible? Well, you, ne you never know. Michigan is one of the few states that has sales tax on gasoline, the state, well, they do much better as prices go up, so it would be really nice to see the state either cap it, cap the percentage, or cap the amount, because as prices go up, the state's take on gasoline gets bigger and bigger. All right, well, we certainly appreciate you joining us tonight with your insight, Mr. DeHaan. We'll uh, talk back with you another time. Thanks for having me.